Hi there! In this video, I am going to show you how to create a system context diagram. In the analysis stage of system development lifecycle, you need to make a context diagram at first. This allows you to identify the scope, boundaries, and system requirements when creating new or updating a system. Now, let's draw a context diagram using an online tool. Go to GitMind's website and click the Get Started button. From here, click New Flowchart and you will be directed to the editing interface. Since context diagram only consists of three shapes, open the folder named General. Select Rectangle to represent the entities. For the system process, drag and drop a circle shape and place it at the center. This time, double-click on the shapes to insert text. To change the font style, select the shapes and modify using the menu at the right side. At this point, adjust the path and type of data of the system. As you hover to a certain shape, you will see a shadow forming an arrow. Click on it and point to the system process. Same procedure when pointing an arrow from system process to an entity. Adjust the arrow bend so one arrow won't lay over the other. For added features, you may customize shapes by changing the color field. After that, label the data flowing through the system. Once done, you may export the diagram to images or PDF file. Furthermore, you can keep it private or give the share link to others. It's that simple. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. Thank you for watching.